In this summer term project, we worked on safe reinforcement learning on real robots, where we tried to train a reinforcement learning agent to be able to learn to interact and collaborate with the human in a provably safe way. The way we do that is by tracking the human position with a week on camera system with the markers which you can see on the left. We then reconstruct the human position from those markers and compute a reachable set of the human. We also compute a reachable set of the robot for the next time step. We then verify whether those reachable sets intersect and if they do, we execute a phase safe trajectory which brings the robot to, co to a complete stop before the human could ever reach it. In that way, we can provably guarantee safety for the human. To now be able to train a reinforcement learning agent which learns to safely interact with the human and work close to it, we have to train the agent with the human motions together. To do that, we first record certain human motions, which you can see on the left side. This is a typical construction motion which a human would do close to a robot. We then process this data and construct a human mesh, which can be loaded into the simulation environment, which is Majoku in this case, which you can see on the right. In this way, we are able to train a reinforcement learning agent together with the human animations. And in that way, the agent can learn to interact and collaborate with the human. We trained a reinforcement learning agent to reach a certain goal, which is marked by the green arrow, which you can see in the video on the left side. During training, this agent was also provided with the human animations, which we recorded as you have seen it on the last slide. If the human is now far away, you can see that the agent takes this lower path to reach the goal. If the human is close, however, you can clearly see that the agent takes this upper path in order to avoid a collision with the human. So the agent definitely learned to collaborate and react to the human. We also deployed this agent to the rear robot, which you can see on the right side. So if the human is further away, the agent clearly takes this lower path and moves more directly to the goal. If the human is close, however, the agent takes the upper path and tries to avoid a collision with the human. Thank you very much for listening. And if you have any questions regarding this project, feel free to reach out to us.